On the night of February 12, 2010, Roy Shaw was out walking his dog in Devon, England, when he spotted a strange circular object hovering high in the sky. The object slowly descended and moved closer to him before settling above a local lawn bowling club. Shaw approached the object to get a closer look and watched in amazement as it meandered around the area before landing on the far side of the field. He described the object as a 100 foot long spacecraft with blue and red lights streaming along its underside and later made a sketch of what he saw. Soon after it landed, a four foot tall white apparition exited the ship and floated across the field towards Shaw. When interviewed by local newspapers, Shaw stated, quote, it was about four feet high and seemed to be translucent and moved very slowly towards us. I was transfixed because it made a droning noise, which sounded like, my, my, repeated over and over. He also reported that his dog, which was normally quite calm, began growling and baring its teeth when the apparition approached. Shaw fled the scene, twisting his ankle in the process. Then, another dog walker claimed to have seen the ship fly off. Shaw had been a paranormal skeptic for his entire life, and oddly still claims to be one even after this strange encounter, but he still has no explanation for what happened to him on the night of February 12, 2010, and the true story behind the Bowling Green apparition remains unexplained. If you'd like to learn more about the Bowling Green apparition and other UFO sightings, I've included links below to videos and other resources, and if you like what I'm doing here and want to support me, please like, subscribe, and share on your social platform of choice. I post new bite-sized videos daily about mysteries, cryptids, aliens, and all things strange to kick off your day. See you tomorrow.